just finished watching the video and uh, I'm going to try to show some stuff. There are two things that actually happen in that video. Number one, you know, it's kind of a guitar uh, solo there, but the piano was kind of very busy also. So I'm thinking, should I show you the piano part? Should I show you the guitar side? I don't know, but so but I'm going to try. So before I continue, there's uh, I have a WhatsApp group you can join. There's a link at the top of this video here. You can join that WhatsApp group, interact with your fellow piano players, and it's fun, anyways. It's cool. So I'm just gonna play the loop again and uh, let's see what happens. Show you some lead skill, show you some piano skill, and let's see what happens. So you see, so that's how I started. Now, if you observe very well, I was making good use of the pitch bend at this side. So when I do, when I do uh, something like mm, 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 now I stop at mm, ah, yeah. I shake my pitch bend up down up down. So just a little bit. So when you do that, it gives your playing a little kind of spice, you know, to give this kind of uh, slide effect. This on key F, you know, this on key F. So let's go so So let's go again. Okay, let's go. If you see what happened here, this is uh, what I always tell people about the guitar kind of movement. You have to do something like a back, a backing after a note or skill. So you see something like this. Initially, I would have done something like this. Oh, but I did kind of an apprego movement there. You see, so which is a, uh, which is a, uh, I'm going, which is a uh, five flat, flat six, flat seven, and ten. So, so this is uh, more like a two note solo, uh, extended two note solo pattern. So, so uh, that's for that one. And sounds cool, sounds cool. So sounds cool. So uh, the next one we do this particular and uh, solo is called two note extended solo. If you want the material on it, you can send me a message on WhatsApp and get that material. It's not free anyways, but it's not gonna cost you much, so you can get that material. I showed it in my premium class. I actually have a premium class where people subscribe, you have to subscribe every month. And it's been awesome so you get so if you want to register for the premium class we just started for april you can send me a message on whatsapp too so this two note extended two note extended solo it's a very good pattern of solo where you can do something like this. so you get so let's go back to our video i'm trying to be really really interactive here so you see so this is it Let's try something a little skinny here. Ready? So, so let's go back again. very simple what I'm doing with this pitch bend is I hold my six and pitch bend up together uh, nine and pitch bend up together okay nine first pitch bend up then I leave the pitch bend so the same thing for six if you want to do it uh, so So 
the scale is this 9 pitch bend up down then I have 8, 6, 5, 4 8, 6, 5, 4 8, 6, sorry, 8, 6, 3 8, 6, 5, 3 then Okay, pitch bend 9, 8, 6, 5, 3, 5, um, 6, 8, then you do a pitch bend back. So when you come back, so um, pitch bend 9, 8, 6, 5, 3, 5, 6, 8, then pitch bend 6. I'll take it slowly now. But you see, when you do it fast, it sounds more cooler. So it's cool. So let's apply it again. If you want this loop for your reasons, you can send me a message and get it for 2,000 Naira only. Very cheap. So this is uh, 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 well, that's good. Yeah. Let's go past that. There's something I did with the piano at that point, but I'm going to listen to it. I think, I think it's a mm, that's a great skill. So, take it. Uh, mm, I think this was a movement to my one. So your left hand is doing these three chords, which is your four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. The normal tri chords. Then yeah, then. Doing... So when you're in four, you play six flat seven seven. Take it slowly. Then. When you're on six, you're playing your three on your left hand. Then when you're on five, you're playing your two on your left hand. When you're playing, then when you're playing your three, you're playing one. So then, the increasing speed. Uh, so if you do. I still change the octave so so dun, 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 dun. there's another one there dun. so don't forget this is a good passing movement so you're one very good passing movement to your one okay let's continue uh let's continue let's listen again let's go towards the side when the voice starts singing and see what happens i think i what the keyboard did here yeah. i think i used a lot of uh let me do a little touch up there so did cool So, no need to do any too special thing on your left hand. So, the first one is you're doing just like an apego movement. So, you do. 
two, three, five, eight, then then four and nine, then six and ten, then three three five eight four and five to four and nine together, five and ten together, then five and twelve together. Then I do nine against ten. So let's play it again. So let's look at something else to do here. Oh, I like that sound. Cool. It's more like a passing movement to your five. It's cool. Very cool. So you just your two, two flat three, three, four flat five. Then you have okay. Two flat three three four flat five five. No, two flat two three four flat five. So, two, mm, 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 mm. so what the fastest way to do this is two flat two, then three, then you now play three four flat five. So, mm, mm, mm. you see. So, but on your left hand, you're holding this chord, which is your flat five, six, eight. Then you go to five. You can actually apply this on any other song. So, if you do, um, uh, I should have, I should have, I should have. So, I should have, I should have, or any song. Oh, the glory must be, or the glory must be. So, depending on what you want to, let's listen again. Now, let's try another guitar solo here. like a pitch bend technique you see it's uh, just your so you see you have your three eight you have your your two your two two seven you have your one six you have your seven five inside you have your six eleven so, so let's see let's see how we can use it anywhere you want you can use it anywhere you want to use it so sorry I like this scale. See nice. So you're doing six flat seven seven. Then you have twelve flat twelve eleven. Then um, flat ten. Then ten five and eight five four. Three, so, mm. so let's try how to play. And the thing about this particular skill is that you can use it anywhere. You can use it anywhere. So 
that's it. So that's how some things are actually played. Uh, well, do well follow for more. If if I get to break down more of these movies, it's going to be an ending. I don't want video to be that um too long, so I'm gonna end there for now. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah.